Hey everyone, it's James here and we're going to be looking today at improving typography and uh, if you see this big letter A here, um, this is called a drop cap and it pushes away the content by the right and from the bottom and the way we achieve this is by floating that single letter using a class. So I'll show you how to do that and uh, there's a bit of padding involved there so it's pushing out to the right and it's pushing out from the bottom and I've also specified a line height which helps us achieve the effect. To demonstrate the drop cap effect, I'll be adding a drop cap to this paragraph, which is inside an expanding text box, something we covered in the last tutorial. If you want to know how to make an expanding text box or a link box, I will put a link in the blow bar if you're watching this on YouTube and show you how to make the effect. So we'll take a look in code view and you'll notice I have a simple paragraph and there's a T a letter T which is the T I'm using for the example and there's a span class wrapped around it called drop cap so we're going to make the drop cap class now and you can call this whatever you want but it's called a drop cap so that's what I'm going to call it so dot drop cap and open curly brackets close curly brackets and we'll put the code in the center okay now whatever we attach this class to um, it's going to float the element so we in this case we want it to float uh, a particular letter so we're going to type in float colon and we want it to float left put a semicolon on the end I'm going to change the text color to a sort of purple color so we're going to type in color colon pound nine three and C and put a semicolon on the end there as well I'm going to change the font size. Now we're going to really increase the font size to make the effect quite dramatic. So font dash size colon and 78 pixels. I'm also going to specify a line height and that's going to push the text away at the bottom. And that's line dash height colon and 62 pixels. Now when we float the element, the natural, the thing that the text wants to do naturally is float up above that letter. So we're going to set it with a line height and some padding to push away from that big letter that we put with the font size of 78 pixels. So we're going to set a padding right of 2 pixels and a padding top of 2 pixels also. And while we're here we're also going to specify a font family and the font family it's going to be a kind of contrasting uh, typeface. Now as I said before this is a generic class so we haven't applied it to anything yet we've just set up the hook for the class itself for the drop cap. So if I highlight the T now and I go down to the properties inspector and I'll select drop cap, the drop cap we just created and you'll see that the T has grown in size, it's floated left, it's pushed all of the rest of the paragraph text away from it using that span class. Now I'm going to change the padding top to 3 pixels just to bring the letter down a little bit, there we go, and we'll preview that in Firefox. Okay, so that's a quick and simple way of improving your typography. Please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. See you later.